Before designating your headings, you may want to change the default font type, size, and color to match your document. To do that, click on the Styles pane at the far right side of the Home tab ribbon. Then hover your cursor over the heading you would like to change until the arrow appears, then click the arrow and select Modify Style. You can now select the appropriate formatting options from the menu to better match the formatting in your document. If you check the box labeled Add to Template, this will change your default settings for new documents based on the changes you just made. Once you have set your formatting, click OK, and you can now designate the headings in your document, which can later be used to create a table of contents. So to designate your headings, hold Command and highlight each bit of text that you want to select and designate as a heading. We'll just do a few here. Now once you've designated your headings, click on the heading option that you've already formatted, and that will apply those changes to that part of the document. You may have noticed when we designated our headings that this pushed our new sections down to new pages because of the length of the paragraphs that these headings were associated with. So to fix that, if you do want to address this, select the line and paragraph spacing menu under the home tab, then select line spacing options, go to line and page breaks, and then deselect this option labeled keep with next under pagination. When you click OK, you should now go back to essentially the same pagination you had before.